Alright guys, welcome to another episode of Healthy Junk Cruise. We just left Atlantic City and we're going to be driving through Philadelphia, so I figured let's hit up the most famous Philly cheesesteak spot in Philadelphia, which is Pat's King of Steaks. King of steaks. I think the hard part is, is actually saying that this is the best, because there's like so many cheesesteak places in Philadelphia. Alright. Let's rephrase that. We're going to one of the best cheesecake spots in Philadelphia. Cheesecake. That wouldn't be a bad idea. A cheesecake cheesesteak. What? So, basically there is an etiquette on how to order. We had to look this up so we don't look like idiots when we go to order. But the lines move quickly and you need to know exactly what you want when you order. I guess what you have to, what they call it is one whiz with meaning one cheese steak. No, you have to say one whiz wit. One whiz wit, sorry. One cheese wit. If you want two, you'd say two cheese wit. Three cheese wit. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. What are you gonna get? And you said it wrong anyways. It's one whiz wit. One whiz wit. Because one, one, one implies the cheese steak. Ah, okay. Whiz implies the cheese whiz. And wit implies the, uh, the grilled onion. This is the biggest sandwich ever. And it is saucy, it's hot, and I can't tell if it's dripping right through the, the plastic wrap or if it's just the heat and condensation. Yes, we we're gonna have to bib it. We, I really wanted to just eat this outside, but JP insisted that we have to do this car thing, Dame. But we're literally just sitting out here, right outside the famous Pat's King of Steaks with their um, Burger King logo, their little crown. All right, so I got the Wiz Wit, which um, I actually said without, but they gave it to me anyway. And mushrooms, because mushrooms are by far my favorite thing ever. Now, this is the mushroom that's in the Wiz Wit. I didn't expect much, you know, it's fast place joint. These mushrooms taste like can, but I love mushrooms, so I don't care if they're can or not. I just got a hit of that hot sauce, absolutely delicious. Oh, yeah. Cool. I wish we had like a plastic bag. So, talk, JP. Oh, man. Yeah, like honestly, wow. if you, I put these right across the street is Geno's. And like, like a sandwich because they're going so, to Philadelphia. I think I get that I because it does not. <laughs> we can't get with that online. This. In 1930. To that. All right, guys. So I had a taste of this. Well, I'll say the whole thing. But... Yeah, you don't want to see us eat this whole thing. It's no, gonna I just take forever. I did eat the whole thing. You did? But, Holy fucking! Um. I swear a lot. <laughs> I used to be a saint. Then I started dating this guy. Oh. First thing I would say is, don't go here wearing nice clothes. <laughs> but yeah, like honestly, if you don't eat this right away, it's just gonna be a soggy. Yeah. I put these chili peppers on it. Check out the chilies. I just like that spice. I gotta tell you, this thing's awesome. The steak in it is nothing like I've had in a, a cheesesteak before. It tastes like real authentic steak. It, on a Philly cheesesteak scale, definitely gonna give it a four and a half, not bologna grade. And I'm probably gonna try to take a stab at making this at home. So tune in for when you see the remake of Pat's King of Steaks made at home. You have to look back to figure out what this place is called.